Hello, and welcome to the podcast. Thank you for tuning in another week. Another look at the power of God in the believer. I believe it's building. You should be feeling stronger even. This power makes you feel stronger. He is Almighty God. And when Almighty God lives inside of you, there is might released, the spirit of might. And I want you to take advantage of it. You are not the weak. You are the strong. It says that, that he will help the one who, who runs will not grow weary. They will not grow faint. You will last. You will run this marathon. You're a winner. You're in it to win it. And you cannot quit. You get back up again. A good man gets back up again. And you run on the power of the Holy Spirit and his sufficient grace. And today we are going to talk about the authority that you have as a believer when obstacles get in your way, okay? You're running a race for Christ. You're running to win. You're reaching for the prize. You want eternal rewards, and and this is all good, and this is of God, but be sure that you've got an enemy. You've got a devil who has power, by the way, but you have greater power. So let's go ahead and let's read this scripture from Luke chapter 10 in verses 18 and 19. And Jesus said to them, I saw Satan fall like lightning from heaven. He says, Behold, I give you the authority to uh, trample on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy, and nothing shall by any means harm you. I cling to this one, by the way. I say I tread upon serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy. Don't be deceived and think that the devil has no power. He does. He's He's a fallen angel, and he can make some evil things happen. And sometimes you read about them in the news. But he says, I give you authority. I saw Satan fall from his place of authority to the earth, to nothing, to the ground. And he has lost his authority. And Jesus, after his resurrection, said, all power and authority has been given unto me. Now you go with it. Now, let's talk about these two words where it says authority and power. Jesus says, Behold, I give you the authority to trample on serpents and over all the power of the enemy. So the dynamite power of the enemy, you have authority. Now, I like to use the example of a policeman. I was speaking at another church uh, recently, and I uh, told them about this, that you know, a, a policeman can stand in front of a car, and that car has more power than the policeman <laughs> Just like if we're really talking about just our natural power, the devil has more power than us just in the natural. If we're operating in a supernatural plane through faith in the name of Jesus, we have more authority and power over him. But if we are to really look at it, he he could do things to us. But God is our protector. He's our keeper. He watches over us and keeps us and blesses us and causes his face to shine upon us. But we need to be walking with the Lord and in the Lord. And we need to understand this principle of authority. So I said, like, if, if a policeman were to put up his hands like this, the, the car has more power than him, but the policeman has the authority. And that car will stop even though it has more power. Now, the devil might have more power right now before he gets it's thrown in the lake of fire to operate in the world. But I want to tell you something. You have greater authority over him in the name of Jesus and what has been given to you by Jesus. And, and the apostles, when they came back, they said, wow, even the devils are subject to us. And Jesus said, caution here. Don't get all excited about that. You get excited that, you know, your name is written in the Lamb's Book of the Living. Now, I want to talk to you, though, about actually spiritual warfare. Because, you know, you have this authority, and really through God, he backs up your authority with his power and his angelic beings, Michael, Gabriel. These are archangels. They, they have fleets of angels, you know, thousands upon thousands of angels. And you have a guardian angel, it says in Matthew. But I want you to know something. You have to activate it by faith. You cannot just, you know, let the devil run roughshod over you and your family and, and do things that you know are evil and and you, you see them piling up, you have to say, stop. I'm taking authority over you. You get out of this house. You get out of my life in the name of Jesus. He said in in Mark chapter 16 that the believer would have faith through the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, they lay hands on the sick and they recover. In the name of Jesus, they would cast out devils. In the name of Jesus, you know, these things will happen. So you've got to go in the authority of the Lord, but you have to take that authority. Whatever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven. Whatever you loose on earth will be loosed in heaven. Too many Christians do not understand the teaching on the authority of the believer, but you have authority as a believer to, to win in 
in spiritual warfare. It's a wrestling match. We don't wrestle with flesh and blood. You wrestle with principalities and powers and the rulers of the earth. This is a wrestling match. It's a boxing match with evil. It's a race that you're running and they're trying to trip you and make you fall. But you get up again and you use the name and you drive him out and you command him to get away from your family, your loved ones, your stuff. If you're tired of the car breaking down, sapping up all your money, take authority over that. Sometimes it can be demonic. And I'm serious. They don't say I'm foolish when I say this, but I, I, I've watched it happen. Too many things were breaking, and I said, no, no, you're a thief. You're caught. You know, he comes to steal, kill, and destroy. You are not going to steal my money by making me fix all this stuff. Now, you back off and get away. <laughs> this is a true story. My heart wouldn't start. All of a sudden, I turned it, and it started right up, and I go, wow. So, Okay, I don't care if you're laughing. I know that it, 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 God answers prayer. And I know there is authority when we pray and believe and when we fight. And when you're trying to serve God, when I'm trying to preach the gospel, when I'm trying to go into all the world and trying to carry out his plan for my life, if, if you don't think I have opposition, I, yeah, I smile a lot and I've got a lot of joy, but it's because I got the victory. I don't play. I don't play. I, 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 you know, I, I beat my body and I try to bring it in subjection. I, I'm in it to win it. I run this race to win. I reach for the prize, but it also means that I have to watch out for El Slufo trying to trip me up and make me fall. And on occasion, I have. And I'll, I'll get back up and I'll say, you get away from me. I'm not ignorant of your devices. The weapons of my warfare are not carnal. They're mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds. And I like to remind him. And I encourage you, do that. You say, no, 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 back off. I'm drawing a line. You get away. And I want to tell you something, you will experience victory. You go ahead and try it. Go ahead, listen to this podcast again and again. Allow this authority of the believer to be built into you because it's very much connected to the power of the Holy Spirit being released through you. Especially when you're trying to serve the Lord, you've got to take authority of the forces that would come against you. In Jesus' name, Father, grant them this grace, this grace of understanding spiritual authority. In Jesus' name, amen. Oh, wow, this is very important to understand. There have been demonic spirits released from hell, of familiar spirits in, this la in these last days. You have to know your authority. Amen? Well, God bless you. Thank you for tuning in. Tell a friend about the program, and bye for now. On behalf of Frank Julian Ministries, we want to say thank you so much for listening. We upload podcasts every Thursday on Roku, YouTube, and audio podcasts. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out. If you need prayers or seeking a prayer community, we're here for you. Come join us on our Facebook page, Love, Prayers, and Healing Podcast with Pastor Frank. See you next week.